Brace yourself, America. NATO has plans that might just drag us into a full-blown war with Russia. From new land corridors to American troops on the front lines, we're going to get into the shocking details and the potential catastrophic consequences. We're going to get into the madness that we see right now and what it all means for the rest of us. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So the Gateway Pundit put a piece out called World War III Watch, NATO drawing up plans to deploy American soldiers to the front line to potentially fight Russia in an all-out war. Can you believe this? The globalists in charge are interested in potentially expanding the already devastating Ukraine-Russia war beyond the borders of the respective two nations. The Daily Mail reported Tuesday that the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, is preparing plans to deploy American forces to the front lines on the European continent to potentially fight a war with Russia. They're doing this months before the American election. Why do you think they're doing it? Such a dangerous move has the potential to put our men and women in direct harm's way against a nation with the most nuclear weapons on Earth. From the Daily Mail, NATO is drawing up plans to send American troops to the front lines of Europe in the event of an all-out conflict with Russia, it has been revealed. New land corridors are being carved out to quickly funnel soldiers through Central Europe without local bureaucratic impediments, allowing NATO forces to pounce in an instant should Putin's devastating war in Ukraine move further west. The plans are said to include contingencies in case of Russian bombardment, letting troops sweep into the Balkans via corridors in Italy, Greece, and Turkey, or towards Russia's northern border via Scandinavia. Guys, you know that the Biden administration is behind this. I don't give a damn if we say, oh, it's NATO. They have no yeah, they do. The Biden administration is behind every evil that's been going on for the last four years. So do they really think, does the Biden administration really think that the country's going to rally behind the commander in chief just months in front of an election if he sends our men and women into war? I, I, I think they really do. I think they're that crazy that they really do. Back to the piece. The plans under development show that American soldiers would land at one of five ports across the European continent. Four would, and they're telling the world this. Four would allow access to Ukraine's western border, while the fifth would reach Russia's border via Finland. Reports from last year have indicated that the alliance could provide 300,000 troops at high readiness in the event of a war with Russia. Since the United States bears up to 70% of the total defense spending of all the countries in the NATO alliance, yeah, we pay for everything. One can be sure that they will provide a majority of these forces. Right! The ultimate goal of this development scheme is to ensure that NATO forces can push through Europe without any unnecessary delays caused by local bureaucratic red tape and checkpoints, according to the mail. It is a safe bet French President Emmanuel Macron is on board with these plans. The Gateway Pundit previously reported that Macron refused to rule out sending European troops to fight Russian soldiers in Ukraine, a move Russian President Vladimir Putin's foreign intelligence chief called extremely dangerous and irresponsible. Retired U.S. Army Colonel and former Secretary of Defense advisor Douglas McGregor summed this disturbing news best with the following question. What is NATO thinking? Colonel McGregor put out a tweet saying, Breaking. NATO now planning to get U.S. troops to the front line to fight Russia. What are they thinking? NATO has disclosed its preparations to deploy American troops to the European front lines in the event of a full-scale conflict with Russia. Innovative land corridors are being established to expedite the movement of soldiers through Central Europe, bypassing local bureaucratic hurdles. This strategic setup enables NATO forces to swiftly react should Putin's aggressive actions in Ukraine extend westward. Reports suggest that these plans also encompass provisions for potential Russian attacks. In such scenarios, troops could mobilize through corridors in Italy, Greece, and Turkey to reach the Balkans or alternatively advance toward Russia's northern border via Scandinavia. These details were shared by officials with the Telegraph. 
I had said at the beginning of the war in Ukraine, after Joe Biden went out of his way to instigate Putin going in, remember whenever he was asked by the press what he thinks Putin will do, and he said, oh, I think he has to go in now. But I had said from the very beginning that Biden was going to get our troops into this war, into a hot war with Russia. People told me I was crazy, but now look at the potential of it. And for those of you who think that the American administration can't possibly be telling NATO what to do, remember, we pay 70% of the bill to run NATO. Those who pay the bills get to call the shots. Pun intended. I just hope NATO is doing posturing right now for whatever political reasons they have. And I really hope that Joe Biden doesn't get our troops into harm's way over a war that has absolutely no national security implications for the United States. I still don't think we had any reason to go into Ukraine as a proxy, and I certainly don't think we should send troops there to fight a hot war. Thank you for watching this video. Hit the subscribe button and get ready because that culture war still rages on. See you in the next one.